Welcome to The Daily Me, the place for insights into life and business. Hello, hello, hello. It's Rick Nusky here. This is The Daily Me Show. Thank you very much for joining me. Now, I recently gave an interview to a wonderful gentleman um, who is in investment space and we had um, just shy of an hour talking about investments, about life and his journey from, you know, early age through to where he is now. And uh, interestingly, he shared with me that he's not a one-time cancer survivor, but twice um, he survived uh, cancer. And um, we started to then talk about um, bucket lists and what I would uh, do, uh, what he would say. I asked him what he would say to those who are, you know, wondering, pondering, if they should try something, if they should do something. And basically said, you don't want to leave anything on the table. You want to just go for it because at the end of the day, the last thing you want to do is get to the end of your days is and, and have regret on the table saying that you didn't actually do everything that you wanted to do. And it was really quite a touching interview. Um, I've, I've been in the position as the host of the show to hear similar stories over the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of guests that I've had and it never ceases to amaze me their mindset towards life and um, health and optimism they have a just this level of optimism that those who don't necessarily have any issues quote unquote to deal with during their day like cancer um, they they don't struggle with negativity and if they do they reset and they remember that life is a gift and in that gift this particular guest talked about his love for travel his love for um, sharing time with his his family his wife and going snor- uh, scuba diving which to me is just amazing because it says i'm not going to wait i'm doing the things that are important to me but tellingly and i think the big takeaway for today's um, episode of the show is to don't place money first. More money doesn't mean more happiness. More money will give you access to resources, but it will not make you happy. So if you're waiting for more money in your business, even though you might have a business and it's going okay, focus on the life's experience rather than the money experience, because this particular guest talked about not uh, allowing yourself to get caught up in thinking this false belief this myth that your life should revolve around the attraction of money yes it's important but balance it out find a happy medium find the goal that is a, a, a you know acceptable to you in terms of how much money do you need to start doing the things that you want and then in doing those things that you want you will find the happiness so I hope this has been useful for you. Um, If you want to listen to this particular interview, just keep an eye open. I'll be making sure that um, this interview is uploaded as soon as it becomes available. So until tomorrow, see you then.